Hey everyone, my name is Sienna and I am the community rep at Rancho Family. I am joined today with Dr. Denise Dvorquez, who is our internist practicing out of our Hemet location. And today she is teaching me how to make a traditional Ecuadorian ceviche. So you're from Ecuador, you grew up there. Hi, I'm Dr. Denise Duvorquez and I am from Ecuador and this is a very traditional dish that we regularly eat during the weekends and it's a very healthy, uh, fresh and uh, easy to, to cook dish. It's pretty much no cooking, right? Pretty much how we have it assembled right now. <laughs> yeah, we just you just have to cook the shrimp and make sure that you cook it right. Uh, you don't want to overcook it, so if you're going to buy it raw, the way you want to cook it is you boil the water, you put a little bit of salt in it, and once the water is boiling, then you put the, sh the, sh the, uh, sorry, the shrimp for like a couple of minutes and then you take it out. Awesome. And the shrimp we have today is pre-cooked, which you can also buy at the grocery store. And so it makes it a little bit more of a quick assembly. So let's, yeah, let's get going. Let's start okay. assembling. What's first? Okay, so you have to first prepare this onions with a little bit of salt. So for those of you that have high blood pressure, you want to keep it low salt when you cook the ceviche. Mm. So we just put in some chopped red onion. I also see that we have different colored peppers as well. We have green, orange, and red bell pepper. Um, and I know for those who don't use bell pepper a lot, I do know that bell pepper has way more vitamin C than like an average orange, has tons of antioxidants. So again, one of those fresh ingredients that is in the ceviche that is really good for you. That's right, That's cool. and it's very tasteful. So. Very tasty, I love that. Okay, what's the next step? The next step is you are going to add some salt and that's when you wanna be careful for those that have high blood pressure, you wanna keep it a low salt. So we'll just put some salt in it and you wanna mix it up. And that's going to make the onion a little bit softer. Oh, uh, interesting, the salt softens the onion? Mm-hmm. Okay, very interesting. So just mix the salt in with the ingredients and we have to wait a little bit. Okay. Uh, you will wait like around five to 10 minutes to make it softer. All right, so we waited our 10 minutes for the salt to draw out all that moisture. What's the next step? The next step is that you wanna use the lemon, the squeezed lemon juice, and you wanna put it, uh, you wanna put the lemon juice until it's covering the ingredients. Okay, so just after it covers the amount of onions and peppers that mm -hmm. we put in. Okay, yes. perfect. So we just put the lemon juice, just enough to cover the onion. And then it looks like there's also orange juice. Do mm -hmm. we add that now too? Yeah, we will add the orange okay. juice. And that just makes the bulk of the juicy of the ceviche. Oh. It's kind of like a, think about it like a cold soup. Interesting. Perfect. So we just put in that orange juice. Um, and can you tell me about the benefits of orange juice? We all hear about vitamin C. That's pretty much all we hear about orange juice. What else do does citrus and orange juice in general help with? Yeah, so the vitamin C has multiple benefits. It helps you reduce cardiovascular disease. Uh, it can help reduce cancer risk and also uh, the, your immune system. Wow. So it's very healthy. It did all of that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So it's packed with vitamin C because the lemon and the... <laughs> and the orange juice has vitamin C. Delicious. So, okay, we put in all the citrus, all of the onions, the peppers, what's next? So then we just add the shrimp. Okay. And remember, it's already cooked. Okay, so the shrimp is in, we put that in, and right now I can really smell the fresh squeezed orange juice. It smells so good. I know fresh squeezed is what you wanna go with. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something about the differences between orange juice that you can buy at the store, what's best? Yeah, so the best is you just read the label and make sure you're getting from uh, squeezed oranges and not the concentrate, not from concentrate. Okay. So that's healthier than uh, the concentrate juice, orange juice. Awesome. But if you can squeeze it, then that's the best. Perfect. And we put in the shrimp. I know shrimp has a lot of good health benefits, but also some misconceptions about shrimp. Mm -hmm. So what are the good things about shrimp and why ceviche is so healthy for you? So the shrimp has, is a very good healthy protein. Mm -hmm. um, it has low, it has low calories. Um, so if you're trying to lose weight, shrimp will be a good idea, but make sure that you are not cooking, cooking it with uh, fat. So no butter or, you know, you're not, you don't, you don't want to fry it. So okay. in this case, the shrimp is boiled. So there's no added, added fat. Um, and then 
the misconception in, in with shrimp is that it has bad cholesterol. Hmm. Um, but actually it has good cholesterol, but you never want to eat too much of it because it can it can cause problems. Okay, so eat shrimp, indulge in the ceviche, but not too often. Not too often. Always in moderation. Yeah, it looks Perfect. like, for example, in, in Ecuador, you'll eat it once a week. So you're not eating every, you know, yeah. <laughs> three times a week or four times a week. More of a celebratory food, which Correct. we're celebrating you joining us today. So what's next? We put in the shrimp, the orange juice. It looks like we have cilantro left. Mm -hmm. Ketchup and mustard as well? A little bit. Just okay. Just put a little bit. So we can just add it now and just a spoon of ketchup and then uh, half of a spoon of mustard. And then we just mix it up. And the last ingredient, but the most important ingredient is actually cilantro. cilantro. You can buy it in most, most grocery stores. You will get it. It's fresh. You have to chop it. All right, so we're adding a little bit of pepper. And also, you were telling me that the best way to serve this ceviche is cold, right? Mm -hmm. so okay. Yeah, so you want to put it on the refrigerator and uh, cool it down for like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, before okay. You eat it. Awesome. And this is an optional ingredient that we found uh, tastes very good. It's um, esriracha sauce. So it just puts, puts it a little bit spicy. If you like spice, but it's optional. It's optional. I prefer just a little spice in my ceviche. So yes, please, just so a little we'll bit. So we'll just put a, some drops, two or three. You mix it and you're good, good to go. All right, let's go throw this in the fridge and then we'll enjoy it in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm so good. excited.